Hi everybody, it's Kateri, and we are here for another Stock Your Stash Week. I believe this is number 12, I believe. And um, we are going to make um, kind of a tag slash I'm going to incorporate maybe um, a paper clip on some of make them into paper clips maybe and then some can be a tag and I got the idea from hmm, um, maybe a year ago and I was going through all of my want to make things and um, um, bird nest books by Leanne did this back into probably a year ago I guess and um anyway that's what we're that is what we are going to do so i have to grab another piece of fabric here so what you're going to do is basically just use some spare um this one's a little bit damp um but it'll be fine um, just your scrap, um, fabrics that you have, and, um, you want to find fabrics that are going to coordinate with each other, and so I brought out a couple of different ideas, so here's one with a bird, and... And then there's this um, little piece here. And I think, I think because of it being um, kind of a woody outdoor, I think I'm just going to rip this one and leave the edges. Um, raw and not use pinking shears i wouldn't throw these away because if you ever do tags you can actually fray these a little bit and you can use these for the top of your tag so whatever you do don't don't pitch them and start using them you know for the hole in your tags depending on what your journal is um, or journal, whatever you use it in. So, um, I have this. You can press these off if you want. Um, my fabrics are pretty straight. I've got my little ironing board. When you do rip them like that, though, they do tend to curl. And um, you can spray that with some water a little bit to straighten it out if you like. So depending on how long you want your little paperclip deal, you'll want to, like, I think this is about inch and a half. Yeah, it's about inch and a half wide. And I think I'm gonna cut it down to maybe three inches is what I have. Mm, about three and a half inches, three inches, whatever. Somewhere in that area. So I'm just going to fray the ends here a little bit more and throw my strings away so I try not to get too much of a mess here. All right, so this can be a base. Let's see what else I've got. I don't, I think I'll leave that for something else. I know I have other, other pieces here. These are pinks, I don't want that. And then I have this. This is even wider. So, and you can move these around really however you want um i don't know 
I'm just wondering, I think I might use this, this piece right here. I love that. I wish I could get part of this flower in here. So, as you can see, um, I have some left over here at the bottom, and then I've got that part of that flower coming out. This tag may, well, you know what? I can make this just a tad bit, I hope. Maybe. It's a little bit hard to go thinner sometimes. Wow, that ripped super nice. Okay. So I took that down a little. <clears throat> that way I can trim off, I hope, this. I really don't want to have to tear out all of these threads. That would be too time consuming. But it looks like I may just have to cut it and then fray it out. That's not very straight. Really, it's not bad. I mean, threads are coming out. That's good. Hmm. Come on. Come out. Okay. So, oh, I want to say hello to Coco. She has been watching these videos and she asked me yesterday if there was going to be any more, and of course I've been, or was out of town, and um, went on a little um, overnight thing, and we were busy on Saturday, and um, we um, left super early on Sunday for our anniversary. So I'm gonna trim off some of these. And then I'll, I'll fray it a little bit. I'm gonna do it like this. These scissors are terrible. Terrible. <clears throat> They're not meant for fabric. I should have known that. These are better. Okay. And if you just run your finger back down there, it'll make it look good. Okay. So, I am going to put this over here. And we are going to rip it up there. Okay. So we have this. I want to leave a little. And it doesn't you know, I just want to leave, I may, I can't make that any smaller since I've done that. So I'm going to leave some of that flower showing through. And um, I want to see. There. I'm going to leave that showing. And I am going to 
trim this at the top. trying to line up my zigzag here. Okay, keep this piece. All right, so we have that. Straighten that up a little. I have that. Now, I could use this. can hear the birdies. I don't know what they are, but they sound so pretty. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have this. I can either lay it this way or this way. Probably should have tore it too. I probably still can. I can't tear it, but I can sure fry it. So, what? Oh gosh. Yeah, I had three sides pinked and not the bottom. So I just saw. So. Alright, why aren't you fraying? I do one at a time. Alright. So, tops when are thin like this are always easy. Now let's do this side. Hopefully I won't have too much problem. I just love stuff frayed, but they look cute when they're um, when you use certain fabrics when you pink them with your pinking shears. Okay, so let's. Let's try that now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. So we'll see. Um, I've got, I have a piece of, of, um, there's glue on the back of this. I'm just peeling it off. It's sometimes the hot glue is easy to get. Yeah, you know, see, it came right off. So you can lay this however you want it. You can lay this on top, or I can put it like this and make this shorter. I think I want to trim this up just a tad bit. Okay, I just trimmed some of the fray off. So we have four pieces of fabric there. Come on. Yes, may I help you? Um, the MGM purchased by Amazon. Yeah. That's not good for you. That means they own the rights to Wizard of Oz <gasps> and James Bond. Oh, that's bad for you, and I don't care about Wizard of Oz. Only you do. And I like Wizard of Oz, and I like James Bond, so yeah. they'll be on there now. Oh! Oh! Okay, so everybody just heard that. That's cool. So I guess 
that this one stock that we have was bought by no was bought by amazon which means oh no i take that back it was mgm was bought by amazon which means james bond and wizard of oz will now be on amazon and i don't like either one of them so anyway all righty so um what we will do now is we're going to get a top for this i love that but i don't like the i don't like the side of this so i think i have to try to straighten this up and then fray it back out oh look how good that's what you call some good cutting mm -hmm. awesome all righty so all righty now you can either stitch this cross top or you can tack it down with some glue because we're going to put a top on it and your top can either be um, a piece of fabric or it could be see I could do this and then fold this down just so it kind of goes together but you know i have this super awesome fabric right here oh you know what i bet this would look really cool on there i want the stripe see look at that that would look really good okay so i'm going to go ahead and do some pinking on this so it doesn't ravel because that's what this fabric does I can't see where I've pinked already I'm trying to keep it straight all right so I've got to just get the edge of this And what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stitch this and I want to try to get the green in the middle. So I need to trim that down. I'm going to put that on there. And I'll tell you what I might just do. is I think I'm going to tack it with my glue on the back just in a couple of places oh, I'm shaking too much coffee all right And yes, I didn't butt it up against. That's really wasteful of fabric, isn't it? But it's already glued on. What can I say? So, we will trim her down. And I'll tack this side. As long as you're not putting, you know, big bits of glue on there. Your need and my needle is probably not even going to hit that. So I may use this little square piece. We'll see. All right, so there's that. So let me run over here and stitch across the top. 
I will still be here, so you can go ahead and talk amongst yourselves and um, tell me what I'm doing wrong. So, let's see here. We will stitch right, right across there. That is done. That didn't take it very long. Now I could have done a zigzag. Yes, I could have. And I still can if I think that's what I want to do. Cut the end off of this. Now, um, I will also place... Um, Leanne's video down below and she does hers a little bit different than um, I do let's see here or that I did here she actually uses a base for hers and I am going to go ahead cut that back here cut that down almost all right so then at some point um like this one um if you're gonna make you know like a tag and you want to put string or something through the top you can use paper and use your punch to go through but um this thing looks so crooked but i can i can tack it down with a little of hot glue. Anyway, so then I will eventually decorate these, you know, with some bling or something. So I'll just kind of tack those down just a tad bit. And we want just a, a little, a little glue, not much. Um, but I am going to put a paper clip or you can put bulb pins or whatever you want. What's this? Bulb pins. Let's see. And I could stick some little um, um, what do I want to say? We could stick some um, little um, oh God, jump rings on here and hang uh, a little beads or something off of it or a little tassel um, i'm going to put word on here along with some kind of decoration so let's go ahead and do another one and we'll just do a couple of different ones and um yeah see what we come up with um i actually could I'm trying to see here what do I have down here that I could use? Here's a piece of cardstock. I better cover this up for them. I can't get this in here. God, I hate these pens. Those things are so stupid. I need to... Um, I need to order some new pens. So this is almost, yeah, one and a half inches. Let's straighten that up just a tad bit. Yep, very good. And it is three and a little more than three and a half, so I'll cut some off. So we have three and a half. All right. So this is like, we'll make like a little tag deal with this one. This is kind of what Leanne 
uh, did with hers. So I think we're going to play with some pinks here. What do I got here? I've got this. What other pink? What other pink? I think I need something. I don't want to use those. Let's look at this for a back, maybe. Maybe. I better fold some of these up a little bit or they're gonna be all wrinkled when I use them. Um, maybe I'll use this one because I like it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit um, better. Okay, so I could use that, that almost, almost, almost covers that. I don't even know what that is, but it's kind of cool. I really like this too, but I it would be the wrong way. So... I want some hanging over. No, you gotta come back down. Okay. So actually, I think I'm gonna tack this down. Yes, come back. Come back. I'm just barely putting glue down there. Yeah, this pen, this is junk. I, I bit my other one and I had to use this one and it's too darn thin. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it in there. Sheesh. So I'll be getting rid of that pin now. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take the pinking shears on this. And just cut around the board. Okay. I didn't cut that real straight. Okay. So there's that. You know what? I think I need to cut this down now that I've done that. Because i got to be able to bend that over and be able to sew on the top. Okay, I've got enough room, I think, to sew on the fabric. All right, which is clear down to that. Let's do it just a tad bit more and straighten that up. Much better. Much better. Okay. So, we have this. And let's try... Let's try this on here. And I think I will let's go ahead and paint this. It's gotten to the point where I cannot work with a little tiny pieces of fabric a lot because it just bugs my nose so bad that I just feel like I have bugs all over my nose. All right, so we have, let's put it over on this side this time. So we have this one 
and I have a plain piece of muslin, 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 and let's use, I don't know, this has been stitched, I don't know what this is, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of it. they stitched it and you could see that so let's now let's paint this I have to try to remember that's what I'm doing with this So I can go this way. Yes, let's do that. And I love, love, love this. This is the coolest, like, old-looking fabric. So I think this one... I think this one needs to be in the back because it's too big. Let's see, I better lift this up, and I think I'm going to have to make it just a tad bit thinner, because I want some of that back fabric to show, and you want to make it short enough that you're actually seeing that there's another layer back there. Maybe I should put this back here and this here. Man, I really hate covering that up. Okay, we may hold off on that. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's just too big. Okay, so I want some lace. And I actually could use some of this which I actually saw her use on some hers on Leanne's just an old curtain or a curtain I guess is all it was so let me see something do I want it to come there and then here, but that doesn't come down far enough. Maybe it needs to be in the middle and put that right there and this right here. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Let's then you're just not seeing it it has to I guess I could make it go down farther it's not gonna hurt it a whole lot and then this over the top I don't like it I don't I don't all right let's look for something else something else All right, let's let's look at this one coming out this way. Let's try this. Yes, I do like this much better. There's something. Oh gosh, it's 
crazy. Too much soup. This isn't mine. I try not to super glue any of my laces if I can help it. And if I do, there's only a dot. So. Okay. Come on, you've got to come off of here. You're not helping me out at all. Sorry, guys. I'm trying, as you can well see, quickly to get this off. Just bugs me. See, I gotta have it this way. Oh, that's the top. Good thing I paid attention to that. I'd be up in the. I'd be in trouble. All right, so there's that, and here is this one. I really would love to have just a tiny piece of lace, different lace coming through that bottom. Okay. I gotta get this off of here. Okay. You can go to, what's this? Bye. Goodbye. I have such a mess here, you guys. Such a mess. Let me move this. You're probably thinking, what in the heck is she working on? I can't tell. All right, those are my little pieces. I need those. Okay, so I have this. Now I was going to possibly use this for the top. And then just fold it over. So I think that's pretty cute. So I'll do that. And I'm going to go ahead and pink the top. And I don't think I need a whole lot. So there's that. Let's go ahead. Can hear the birdies. Okay, and then I'll just bend it over. There. So the only reason why I don't cut this off right now is I hold on to this as I'm sewing it, and then once I get it sewn, then. I'll, uh, I'll tear it off. So, this time, since I used, oh my gosh, since I used the pinking shears, I'm going to do a zigzag. See how cute? She's going to look really cute. So, let me stitch. I'm going to go up here, and I want to turn this on. And I think I'd better stitch from the back so I know where I'm going. I was going to say, wow, what the heck? What the heck? That's weird. Hmm. I got to stitch this again because 
What did it do? Run out of bobbin thread? No way. Well, okay, that's just odd. Okay, I got, I'll, I'll be right back. My first couple of stitches were um, straight. I don't know why, but they was. So now it looks good and messy. So I'll go ahead and show you what Leanne did on hers. And then I am going to See, that's so cute. I love this. So that I need to, I need, I really need my, I'll go ahead. I got to glue this. Okay, so, and we can even take this to another level so you can take your little punch here and of course you'll have to take your little scissors and finish cutting those it's the lace that was that was holding it so now you have this little hole and instead of having just that hole we're going to put an eyelet. We're going to put an eyelet in there. How's that? Let me run over here and get them. Uh, I think they're in the yeah. big pink one, but I don't think I want to put pink in there. Maybe black? Because there's black in the background. So I'll do that, and then I'll put my little back on it. And this is set for the small. So I've got to change it to this one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This. I've got to change this one, I think. All right. Come back. All right, let's see if I can get this in here. Wrong way. All done. Look, isn't it cute? Looks cute. Okay, so she put string in hers. And, you know, I just have to make it to my own. So, I have, I have something else. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at my, nope, I don't want that. Where are you? This is the wrong pink. I could use black. That's blue. Here's a black. Let's see what this looks like. It 
and I'm just going to, how do I want to do this? I'm going to, that put this in here how many minutes 48 oh see you guys this is crazy I guess I'm just the slowest crafter in the whole world Ta -da! there you go so that's that one Fun, fun. Alrighty. Now, since I kind of have the hang of what I'm doing, let's go ahead and maybe try one more. Because I have this yellow here. I should probably use this end it's cool I don't even know what I've got to go with this but I guess we'll figure it out figure it out well that definitely was not cut very well Okay, so let me cut that off, throw these pieces away. All right, there's one, and um, I'm going to make this a paper clip, so I'm going to use the same backing. And let me see, this is six. It needs to be cut at three or thereabouts. Yep, on the nose. Eight to nine and a half. So I need to just trim that up. Yep, very good. All right, so we have that. And I think I need to make this longer. <sighs> I just want it to I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to cut um and glue this to this um that way it's just the back the base and then i'll i'll get the paper clip put on the back after i get it done and let's move you know i'm gonna make it a paper clip so i can put this up here at the top And yeah, I'm kind of a neat freak, you guys. Sorry. I uh, t I clean this mat all the time. I actually, before I actually wear out a mat, um, I take all the paint off before the mat's no good. Okay, so I have that. What else? I have that flower that's got all of these beauteous colors on it that I have not used yet. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? It's just gorgeous. Okay, so there's only one on there. What's on here? This is, I like this. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. And look. The little daisies 
But the bad thing about that is that you actually cover up some of the daisies. So I think I'll cut this here. Why am I always cutting this at an angle? Ugh. And I think I'll take that. I'm just going to tap, 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 top. I'm, I'm not going to be sewing this one, by the way. So let's go ahead, match up my scissors. Alrighty, so that's done. But you know what? Duh, I forgot. I need to make that shorter. Need to make it short. All right, so let's see about lace. See, that looks cute on there. I could even leave that hanging off. And then what else? I could use a piece of this white. What I do with that when I rip that off of there? It's around here somewhere. Right here. Nope, that's not it. I had a whole strip of the muslin that I tore. Well... that where did that piece go I get I know I tore that off of there it's right here oh my goodness that's really cute I love it. I like it. So don't forget, we're not sewing this one. I'm just gluing her on there. And I like the rough edge, so I may... Dang it! did now okay so I'm going to cut that and fray it before I fold it maybe all right let's go ahead and There we go. So we've kind of made several different ones. What do we got? 54 minutes. 54. I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I can still fray it a little bit. And this side before it dries. Alrighty. So now I have these. So when I make a paper clip, um, I can. I have some cardstock right here. Thin cardstock, it's not real. 
real big and real thick, so I don't need it real thick. All right, so I have this and here. Oh, yeah. All right, when you do this, you want to make sure that your short end is on the end, whatever you glue it to. You want the longer piece in the back, um, I mean, on the outside, so you've got more to grab onto. So I use a thicker glue, and I make sure I get the paper clip pretty well because you want to make sure and get your edges. I'm sure you guys all know that. Trying to make sure I, I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it just sounds so pretty. So I just center that. Make sure it's straight. just glue it on there now you have yourself a paper clip so I'm gonna put some more of these together and then I'm going to decorate some of them this will be great for like an Edith Holden so yeah cute alrighty so that is our um, stock your stash so let's everybody get your Get your little scraps out, and let's go playing, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.